OnePlay is a pick up and play cloud gaming platform that is pretty similar to services like GeForce Now or Boosteroid. One of the big unfortunate things right now is that they only serve India at the moment, but they'll be expanding to other countries next year. A positive thing though is that they allow 50 megabits of bandwidth per user. They also don't limit resolution, which means you can stream games at 4K if you had the means to do so. Now do the games play well? Let's put this to the test. Basic users are set with a cloud GTX 1080 configuration with a decent 8 full cores of the Ryzen 9 5900X, which is the exact same processor I'm running on my machine, plus just under 16 gigs of RAM. Now it's not a terrible configuration, but playing modern games at ultra, even at 1080p, is out of the question. So for this test, we're going to play some older games that were released around last decade. I'll even throw in CS2, even though that's a quote unquote new game. Things haven't changed that much. Also remember that you need adequate hardware to decode the 4K stream efficiently. Since OnePlay doesn't have minimum specifications for streaming at 4K, I recommend using Nvidia's requirements. On desktop, make sure you have at least a GTX 1080 caliber GPU to decode the stream, or something like an Nvidia Shield TV Pro or our preferred mini PC. I'll put links to those and the GPU requirements in the description below. Now for the first game on the list, Batman Arkham Knight, released in 2015. The GTX 1080 came out right around this time, and the visuals are good at 4K. I had the settings at max, except for the Nvidia Gameworks effects. The benchmark performed nicely too. Now let me tell you, in-game, the visuals are gorgeous, and the stream is smooth. Now my personal problem is that I'm playing this game in the US, and I roughly get 220 milliseconds of latency. This will be much better for users in India though, but OnePlay's performance is so good, I still managed to get over a 100 hit combo. Well done OnePlay. How about GTA 5? Everyone's favorite do whatever the F I want to do game. At 4K though, on a pick up and play cloud gaming platform? Ho oh, ho, this is a first. How does the game hold up at 4K though? Well, this game came out in 2013, and the hardware is more than capable to run the game at 4K. Look at this benchmark. This should tell you just about everything. I had zero hiccups with the stream, and I've never seen this game look so good on a pick up and play cloud gaming platform before. I really wish OnePlay would come to the West soon. Oh baby, you guys would be killing it. Last but not least, Counter-Strike 2. Even with the graphical updates they made in the game, CS2 is quite playable at 4K even with the GTX 1080. Now I would recommend to lower the settings too, but this configuration with 8 full cores allows you to play CS2 in 4K. And I do have to say, it looks great. Now I did have a couple of hiccups and screen tearing, but that might be due to my stream and distance from the server. I did manage to get a few kills in deathmatch against real people, but with 220 milliseconds of latency, for the most part, I just stuck with the bots. Overall, if you have the means to play 4K on OnePlay in India, do it. Just as long as it's an older game though. Games like Metal Gear Solid 5, Rainbow Six Siege, Tomb Raider, and Battlefield 3 or 4 etc etc should do just fine at 4K on OnePlay with a normal subscription. Now if you're looking to get 10% off your OnePlay subscription, the link is in the description. Now if you like this 4K overview for OnePlay, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, who wouldn't love to play GTA 5 at 4K instantly? <laughs>